Hello, Sean Sands from Gamers with Jobs, picking right up where we left off here in the Trials of the Ascendancy, the Aspirants, something. I think I got the basic idea. Um, like I said, picking them right up after where we left off, so uh, haven't had a chance to review any feedback from the last episode, as always. Um, I'm interested in your thoughts on what we were talking about, uh, if you have them, on just sort of um, making mistakes in games, I think, is uh, more than anything else. Um, even if you have the opportunity to not make those mistakes. Um, is it something you guys do? Is it something you ever think about? Or is it like, well, if you don't have to make a mistake, why would you choose to? Uh, which I think is a totally reasonable answer. I don't, I don't think there's a right or wrong answer to this. It's just kind of um, what works for you. Anyway, I think I'm done with you know kind of going over that. There, I think you get the idea. Uh, let's see. Hopefully, this will also kind of boost us up a little bit. Um, I wouldn't mind going into Act Four with. Uh, uh, I don't know, a little ahead of the game. Wouldn't, wouldn't hurt my feelings, necessarily. What don't we need? Superior large hybrid flask seems like a thing we can keep. Um, we're really good on chromatic orbs right now. I wouldn't mind having them. Let me just do this. And then we can just pick it up. And that will all be fine. I love that I can just be like checking things out and just like, go get them. Go get them, my minions. You know what to do. What to do is murder them. You did know that. Um, is this going to go... Go make some big scary green flame over their head, guys? Can't run from my skulls. There's no running from skulls. Uh, Painted buckler. Nope. Nothing I need there. Ow. Yeah, so might be nice to go into Act 4 with a little bit of an edge. Um, I've been thinking about what I want to do once I do complete uh, normal difficulty with this character. Uh, there's part of me that is actually tempted to switch over to my uh, Ancestral Warchief uh, build and go through Merciless. Uh, I liked going through Cruel, but it's kind of basically the same thing again um, with some minor differences or stuff I missed, hard to say. Um, wouldn't mind the character that seems to be just clipping along at a little, a little more of a uh, strong pace. Can we get around? Let's see if we can get in there and grab that silver key. I don't know if we'll need it, but if it's easily accessible, then why wouldn't we? No, no, no. Don't stand in bad. No, oh, no, can't. Um, let's go down. Can always come back if we have to. Okay, it looks like we're about to get to the next uh, next boss guy, and we can drop some stuff off. Um, just drop some stuff in stuff off in here, so we can keep picking stuff up along the way. Actually, do I want to try and see rawhide gloves? These are just regular rawhide gloves. They're no good to me. Oh, the plague mask. Um, level ten might be worth it. Might be worth it. I'd lose my melee physical damage. Well, maybe I maybe I do go with. No, oh, except I can put them down here. Uh, let's see. Why would you want to try and throw on these things? Um, as I understand it, if I do these level five ones, I'm just going to knock them right out of my level range. So maybe a level three one? Uh, what, what do we want on here? We have some dexterity and intelligence. Okay, now I have to be cautious here because one time when I did this, when I made a change, um, I took the item off. I forget what it was. Um, and my dexterity went down and everything else stopped being wearable and I couldn't put the boots back on and I had to go messing around with rings and stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm not gonna do this right now. I'm gonna put this away and then I'll play with, I've, I've found um, because I'm just so sort of on the cusp of not being able to use some of this stuff, it's 60 and 64. Uh, what do these need? Anything need? 
55 and okay if I did take these off I'd be able to put them back on so maybe nah let's just go fight this is my problem this is part of the problem I was talking about in the game too is I'm like oh I could learn a whole bunch of things and then really have dive in um, or I could just fight so yeah we're just gonna fight don't stand still don't stand in bad rules of the trade Zip around here. Does it matter to try and kill these idols? Oh, 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 oh. That hurt. Am I making a big mistake by trying to kill these idols? Doesn't really seem to do anything useful. I thought I was going to kill one of those lieutenants automatically. Does that mean I needed to use that? Yeah, probably did. Um... All right, we seem to have him under, sort of under control. I have lost a lot of zombies. I'm having trouble getting them back. Lost a specter. Yeah, those don't, I can't. Whoa. No, sir. I am inexhaustible. Thank you, I'm glad you noticed. Um. Wasn't there something I had? Did I put it away? Or did it just get used up and I didn't notice? It must have gotten used up and I didn't notice. Aquamarine marine plask. So I can't raise those sort of spectral things that he's popping off as to come back as zombies, can I? That makes things a little more challenging. Fair enough. Challenging's not bad. Where are you going? There's nothing over there. All right, got my six guys back. I'm looking for somebody useful to raise as a specter. That is not any of you. You're just kind of trash mobs. Sorry, that sounds judgmental, but it's just the way it is. You are who you are. Let's see, what do we got over here? Timed, timed crank. Oh God, that can't be good. Silver door. See, this would be a good time to have that silver key I was going after. Uh, let's go up this way. Is this a dead end? I think this is a dead end. No. Nope. Yeah, dead end. Fair enough. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how I want to approach this. I want to approach this. I want to go kill that guy. I'm grateful that they give you occasional access to your, um, what do you call it? Your stash. This would be really, because I, I can't teleport back to Thomas. I understand that if I do anything like that, then this just resets and all my progress is gone and so be it. And the same is true if I die, which you know at this point you have to be thinking that's a real possibility um, given how some of my fights with the uh, lieutenants have gone so far but we'll see we'll see if I can't pull this off um, mansion passage is this going to be an end node of some kind let's see no not necessarily okay I am looking for another guy to bring up as a specter. I don't think I'm going to go heavy specter. I think at this point I'm committed enough to the raging uh, spirit build that it doesn't make sense to try and just plow down the specter uh, path. So, um, oh, I did not see that at all. Do I not recover? life? I thought I did. Let's not have anything that does that. I mean, it looks like I have something, but it only is moving very slowly. It's alright. Go ahead and pop off a pop off a potion. Come on, give me something worth raising as a specter. I 
thought it was interesting. One person mentioned uh, doing some spell casting, certain type of spell. Um, I'd have to go back and look at what it was again to kind of better direct uh, my uh, my minions, uh, which is an interesting idea. But that's another one of those things where that sounds. I mean, this is here, now here's lazy. Sounds like a lot of work, <laughs> uh, but probably work that's worth doing. I'd like to raise this guy if I can. Can I? I can. Giant skeleton. Welcome to the party. Uh, switch here. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh. Ow. Into the breach, my minions. Okay. So... Is that it back here? Just, oh, what, no, what's this? Mysterious Dark Shrine. If you can't run away from it. Don't know what that did. Hmm. Uh, what do Dark Shrines do? He asked naively. Okay, well, let's go back this way and let's do our skill up relatively soon. No reason to press our luck. If we have things at our disposal to use, uh, we might as well use them. That's the dude I wanted. Those guys live forever. Into the fray, my minions. Excellent. Get the angry skulls. Uh, don't get stabbed. Don't get stabbed. That's the entrance, right? So I need to go back this way, it seems like. Down, maybe? feels strong until I get myself in the situations where I've lost some or a lot of my zombies and then it gets hard to manage particularly fights where I have to stay on the move seem more difficult um, again that part of that's due to sort of the time restraints on the raging spirit is this just a big circle is there really nothing useful here whoa come back to me game this happens from time to time. Well, fantastic. <laughs> oh man, it's not gonna put me back, is it? No. Mm. Okay, fair enough. Um, I think that's going to do it for this episode. This is that's that's just. Uh, let's see what do we, what do we want to put points into? Oh, that's crap, 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 crappy crap, crap. Um, mana region increased life. I like the increased life. Wouldn't mind getting a jewel. I'll probably look and see. That's not going to do anything for me. Um, I'm probably just going to head down here and grab a jewel. Do I have a, do I have a minion jewel? Do I already have a jewel in there somewhere? Did I grab a jewel placement? I can't remember, but I don't think I did. I'm not seeing one. Uh, we have trap. No. Tech speed with swords. No. Physical damage with axes. Probably not. Nope. Not using claws. Projectile. Hmm. Nothing's leaping out to me as particularly useful right away. Yeah. No, probably not going to rush for the uh, for the jewel then. 
Do I want to come through? What's elemental damage? Does elemental damage... I'm assuming these guys are doing some elemental... Uh, or is it all... What type of damage are they doing, I wonder? Well, for now, let's grab the... Let's go... Yeah, let's go life and regen, then. Um, yeah, so... I'll probably do the ascendancy thing on my own. Might, might not do it right now. Um, I'm not going to make you sit through that again. Then we'll pick up in Act 4 as originally planned in the next episode. Um, but that's, yeah, it's still fun to get to kind of go in there and do it a little bit and get the experience of it. Um, not enough that I want to kind of have to power through it again right away. I'm interested in your thought. Oh, let's just make sure here. Physical, nope, damage, daggers, nope, nope, nope. We'll put that in the stash. Uh, I'm interested in your thoughts. So as I was mentioning sort of at the top of the episode, thinking about switching over to my uh, uh, merciless um, ancestral war chief totem build. Uh, and then once we've completed act four here, uh, going to that powering through merciless and then seeing where that leaves us um, at the end. Uh, but, you know, I also don't want to be like, you know, just kind of, crapping on a character halfway through after we've been through it so long so you know if you don't care it's all good too um but if you have any comments or thoughts love love for the feedback love to hear what you have to say um as always thank you for watching either way i i, I genuinely appreciate it thank you for the great feedback and the great tips on improving uh how i'm playing the game i'm still really really enjoying it um and excited to kind of keep having fun keep tinkering with the game until next time as always my name is sean sands from gamers with jobs thank you for joining me for gwj plays path of exile and we will see you again real soon